Hey guys, it's Vina and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing how I defaced Romanov by Nadine Brands. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen the photo that I took of the completed defacing. Thank you guys so much for all of your positive comments on it. I really, really appreciate it. I am so happy with how it turned out and I'm so glad that you guys liked it. So in terms of supplies, I used a mechanical pencil. I had planned on using a compass, but I didn't end up using it. I also used a ruler and a triangle. So these are just for making sure my lines are straight and my angles are right. I also used an eraser. As for the actual inking, I used these Sakura Jelly Roll pens. I used the gold and the red, though you can't see the red very well in the video or in the photographs but it is there and it does look really nice in person. So from the beginning, I had a really clear idea of what I wanted the design to look like. I wanted to use the bottle because in Romanov spells are created using this special ink called spell ink. And I thought that the design would look really cool on the cover. The quote is just the tagline of the book, but it lends itself really well to what I was trying to go for, which was a short, snappy, punchy sentence that kind of encapsulates the book itself. So the design that I drew in my sketchbook turned out so well that I decided to transfer it directly from my sketchbook onto the cover of the book instead of just copying it over. So next I'm going to be transferring the design from the tracing paper onto the naked hardcover. So then I just started inking, but I found that the lines from the transfer paper were just too dark on the dark cover of the book to be able to see, and so I decided to pencil it all over before I continued. So you can see that the pencil lines are a lot clearer, and so I was able to ink way more confidently after I penciled it all in. I was so impressed with the Sakura Pen's performance. This was my first time using them, and I would 100% recommend them if you're going to try book to facing because they worked incredibly well. So this is the completed design after I finished inking it. And as you can see, the top and bottom of the book look really, really bare. And so I decided to add a border, which I'd already designed in my sketchbook in case I wanted to use it. Unfortunately, I forgot to keep the entire process in frame. And so you can see that I've pulled the book off frame a little bit. And so you can't see exactly what I'm doing. I'm really sorry about that. I will try in the future to keep the book on camera so that you guys can see exactly what I did. But the borders ended up turning out really, really well. And I think that they look great with the design. I'm so, so happy with them. So this is the finished result. It just looks so, so amazing. And I'm so glad that I ended up deciding to try book defacing. It was a little scary drawing on a book for the first time, but I just had so much fun doing this. And I do plan on doing more book defacings in the future because this one made me realize just how much fun this can be and just how wonderful it is to have a personalized copy of a book that you really enjoyed. Let me know if I should do more of these book defacing videos in the future. I would love to if you guys would like to see them. Also, let me know in the comments if you have ever tried book defacing and if so, how did it turn out? If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content. I post videos every Monday and Friday. I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.